एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर उषा कुमारी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश हायर एजुकेशन हरियाणा टुडे विल डिस्कस द पोएम व्हेन यू आर ओल्ड इट्स रिटन बाय विलियम बटलर येट्स और डब्ल्यू बी येट्स हु इज वन ऑफ द मॉडर्न इंग्लिश पोएट्स बोर्न इन 1865 एट द सेंडी माउंट डब्लिन ही वाज आयरिश बाय बर्थ एंड स्टडीड आर्ट इन लंदन बट रिटर्न टू आयरलैंड एंड गॉट इन्वॉल्वड विद द आयरिश रिवॉल्यूशनरी मूवमेंट His father was a painter and young years was inspired by him in his vision colors and their beauty. He had fell in love with a mode gone but couldn't marry her. She was the famous actress of that time. He wrote a few poems in memory of Mode Gone. He was also influenced by Indian literature and philosophy. He received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1923. Very well old is a love lyric. लव लिरिक एड्रेस टू मौत गॉन एड्रेस टू मौत गॉन इन इस पोएम इट सिंग्स ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल लव एज कॉन्ट्रास्टेड विद लव दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन फिजिकल अट्रैक्शन द फिजिकल लव पेनिसिस विद पेसेज ऑफ टाइम but his love for his beloved is deeper and spiritual such kind of love always remains fresh in the memory the poem possesses some of characteristic of its early poetry it is needed one of the first finest poems of yeats it's indeed one of the finest poems of yeats this poem addresses to yeats beloved moth gone the poet tells her that one day she will become old her eyes will lose their soft look and her hair will turn gray she will sit by the fireplace and will be drowsy the poet tells her that then the sh- she should think of her youthful beauty and her black and deep eyes then she will remember that when she was young many men admired her beauty some with a genuine love and other with a short loved affection she also she will also remember that among those men there was one man who loved not only her physical beauty but her pure soul also the poet loved even the sorrow of her face changing with the passage of time after recalling these things she will bend down near the fireplace and will sadly remember how love has gone away and disappeared from the world but only the poet's love for her is still fresh and constant in the very first stanza he say that when you are old and gray and full of sleep and nodding by the fire take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once and of their shadows deep the poet says that when his beloved becomes old she will no longer be beautiful then she will think of her youth she will remember that many people admired her beautiful glances but one man uh, that is w h yeats himself loved her soul he was the true lover so the poet asks his beloved to think sometimes of her youth when uh, she has grown old when she is old gray haired and drowsy sitting by the fireplace she should read this book that is a book of the poems written by yeats then she should think of her past and when she was beautiful then her eyes looked deep and black there was a heart warming expression in them thus the poet contrasts the beauty of her beloved with the imaginary picture of her in her old age in the second stanza he says that how may i love your moments of glad grace and love your beauty with the love falls out too but no no one man loved the pilgrim soul pilgrim soul in you and love the sorrows of your changing face here the poet asks her beloved that when she is old she should think of her past when she was young and beautiful many men admired her gaiety and beauty many of them loved her beauty some of them were genuine while others were fools lovers but there was one man that is the poet who had a spiritual love for her he loved her soul not her body when she is old she will remember that this man loved her not only in her youth but at the at every stage of life he loved her even when her face expressed sorrow and grief it means the poet says that he will love his beloved even when her youth has left her 
In the third stanza, the poet says that, and bending down beside the glowing bars, murmur a little sadly how love flared and paced upon the mountains of her hair and hid his face amid a crowd of stars. The poet tells his beloved that when she is old, she would should picture to her mind the difference between what she was and what she is. What she was and what she is. Then she will, when near the fireplace in a state of melancholy, she will certainly recall how all her lovers except one have proved inconsistent. All their love has fled and hidden among the mountains and the stars, but only the poet kept loving her although she had become old. The poet's love for her is, for her is spiritual, not physical. It is the real love. This poem is a short lyric of 12, 12 lines. Of 12 lines. It has three stanzas of four lines. The rhyming theme of the poem is A, B, B, A, C, D, D, C, and E, F, F, E. And at the end of the poem, the poet personifies love. He tells his beloved that she will find the love has fled. It walked on the mountains, then it had hid his face among the stars. Uh, he nostalgically recalls his lover. She will nostalgically recall her, her lovers. The poet recalls the days of the youth when his lover was beautiful. She was full of grace. Many people loved her beauty, but the poet was the only person who loved her pious soul. The poet asked his beloved that when she rolled, she would take his book and read it sitting by the fire. Then she will remember that only the poet had true love for her. Uh, in this way, the poet uh, tells his beloved that uh, when she turns old, she will have gray hair, her eyes will be full of sleep, she will often sit by the fire and keep nodding. Then she will remember the true lover of her young age. Uh, in this way, we can see that when you are old is an intensely personal poem. This poem is addressed to his beloved Modgon, uh, where he contrasts the spiritual love with the physical love. The poet asks his beloved to think of her youth when she's old. She will remember that when she was young and beautiful, many men praised her. The poet was also one of them. But while others had only physical love for her, the poet loved her pilgrim soul. The poet means to say that the human soul is like a pilgrim which travels away from the body after having lived in it for some time. The human body is temper. But the poet didn't love her body, but he loved love her soul. Thank you, student. That's all for today. Have a nice day.